All right. <laughs> I just made like a two minute vlog and it wasn't recording at all. So that's cool. That's great. Hi, it's snowing out and it's amazing. So I'm out here taking some self portraits while well, I'm about to be because whew, I'm winded from walking and talking at the same time. But yeah, we haven't had much snow at all this winter and every time it did snow, I was either working or sleeping and being lazy and I didn't get to go out and take photos in the snow at all, really. So I figured today is probably my last chance to get snow like this and to take photos in it. So that's what I'm doing, yeah. And it's like 9 a.m., which is crazy. I'm never out and about this early. At least not doing fun things that I like. If I'm ever up this early, it's usually for work or something like that. Um, yeah, but can we just talk about how beautiful it is out here? Oh my god, look at this pathway. That is just magical. Yeah, as I was showing that pathway before is when I noticed that my <laughs> camera wasn't recording. So that was good. Oh well. I might try and do a little behind the scenes vlog of me taking self portraits like I did before this past summer because that video was really well received by you guys which made me really happy because it was actually a video of me doing something I really love and that is one of my more popular I'm doing quotes but I can't with <laughs> mittens uh, <laughs> one of my more popular videos so that made me really happy that you guys like that one so much because I had a lot of fun doing it so yeah, I wanted to do more behind the scenes photo stuff and I figured this will inspire me to get out and be less lazy. <laughs> it's not snowing too hard, but it's kind of snowing, so I don't know if I'm gonna set up my phone and record myself shooting like I did before. I'm probably gonna try, but um, we'll see. Also, I'm on like day two of not washing my hair, so it's a little bit of bedhead central right now but that's okay because that's how I like it for photos. I'm just walking around right now trying to find where I want to take photos. In a place like this, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because it all kind of looks the same, equally beautiful. Whoa! There was just a ton of snow falling off the trees over there and it looked crazy. Please don't, don't fall on me. So I think I really just want to take photos in this big pathway here because, I mean, it's gorgeous. Um, I was thinking about venturing into the woods more, but I really like this because I like the way that the trees are creating a canopy over this that just looks so beautiful. Uh, the only concern is this is the main walkway where people walk through. Granted, there's not many people out today, but I always like to have privacy when I'm taking photos, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm not doing any nude photos or anything, so it won't be too big of a deal. Uh, but that being said, I am obviously not going to be shooting in this gorgeous getup. Um, I'm wearing a dress underneath this. Usually what I do when I shoot in the winter time, um, I typically want to wear a dress or something that isn't very wintry, so I'll just wear my pants or my layers underneath my clothes and then take them off while I'm taking photos and then put them back on when I'm done. So. What I'm gonna do today is obviously take off my jacket and just take, like, pull down my pants underneath my dress. And I'm contemplating if I should take them completely off over my shoes or just leave them, like, down around my ankles. I don't know. Um, but if I'm gonna be taking photos in this pathway here, I'm probably gonna need to have my feet in the shot. I don't know. This is why I wore my track pants because they're really loose and I can just take them off over my shoes. It's not a big deal. Okay, so I don't actually know if I'm gonna set up my phone um, on my camera while I'm taking photos because the way that I put it on there is pretty precarious and I don't really want my phone to fall into the snow. Uh, but I will show you my setup and stuff and then I'll probably just Maybe I'll insert some of the finished photos in this video after, like I did last time, but just take out the part of me posing and stuff. Just because I really don't 
want my phone to fall into the snow and it to get ruined because that would make me cry because it's very expensive and I am poor and I don't have money to buy a new one so yeah so this is my setup currently um I brought just this shirt to put over my camera because I don't even though it's really not snowing barely at all I just don't want it to get wet and also um like I mentioned earlier these giant packs of snow on the trees keep randomly falling off like it did just a few seconds ago right over there so I don't want that to happen here and it to land on my camera and get soaked so this will give it a little bit of a shield while I can run over to it if that happens so I've got my tripod and my camera and my remote I had a lot of people asking in my last video um, how I take self portraits with my remote and what I use so this is the Optica remote. It's super super common. Pretty much every photographer I know uses this because it's cheap and it goes with a lot of different cameras. This is the one for Canon but if you just look up, I think they make one for Nikon as well, I'm not sure, but if you just look up wireless remote and then your camera model name, you'll probably find one unless it's like a really obscure kind of camera. But yeah, this was probably five, six dollars if that on eBay. Super cheap, which is awesome because these are very easy to lose. They're really, really durable. I once left this outside in the rain for like three days because I thought I lost it outside and I was like, well, it's gone. But it was outside and it rained for a couple of days and then I went outside in my backyard and I found it and it still worked. I think this is the same one actually. So. I've had this one for quite a few years and still going strong. So yeah, it's really easy to use. You just press the button and it focuses for you. Uh, you have to put it on autofocus, obviously, and stand within your focal point, but it will focus on you or whatever it sees. You press the button and that's it. And you can use this also for recording video. Like you can use it to start and stop um, the recording mode, which is really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna take my pants off <laughs> and take some photos. Uh, I'll probably show you guys my outfit after I declothe myself. All right, I've got to shoot fast because I am gonna be cold. Luckily, it's not too cold out. It's like, it's almost about 30 degrees, which sounds really cold, but it's not that cold because it's not windy. It's pretty stagnant, so it's, it's bearable. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing <laughs> with my boots. I am not gonna take those off. Uh, but just a simple dress because, I don't know, I like to keep it simple. When I don't plan things out much, I just grab a pretty dress and that works. So, yeah, right where I was standing, like five feet behind me, as soon as I walked away, a big snow pile fell that would have hit me on the head. So I'm glad I moved. So yeah. I'm gonna take some photos now before I freeze my butt off and before someone comes along and says what are you doing in a dress in the snow and yeah I will see you guys after bye oh my god <laughs> my hair is so puffy from the snow I'm all done taking photos and whew, my hands are frozen that's always the worst part about taking photos in the cold is your hands and your toes but mostly for me your hands because those are what are exposed and get the least circulation to them for me. My hands are always so cold every time I take photos. Oh my gosh. I don't know how Leo did it in The Revenant shooting in like below zero temperatures, like 30 below all the time. He is a beautiful, amazing actor. I It's 30 degrees above zero right now and my hands are icicles like my body is fine it feels really warm out in the rest of my body but my hands are frozen I got uh, I got quite a few photos that I really like it looks so beautiful and pure out right now which is just my favorite part of winter I'm so happy that it snowed one last time for me I mean I assume this is gonna be the last time because I mean it's been pretty warm lately so but who knows, we'll see. But I'm really happy we got another good snow that I could actually take photos in. Cause I was really bummed about that this winter. I didn't I didn't really get a real chance to take any snowy photos and that's always my favorite thing. So yeah, I'm excited. Even though I didn't do anything too elaborate, I really liked pictures. 
so I'll probably slip some of them in at the end of this video once I'm done editing some for you guys to see. Yeah, and I hope you like this little vlog. I know it wasn't quite the same as my other one because I didn't get to show me modeling and stuff. There was just a weird loud sound over there. Um, but I'll be making more and I definitely am going to make more behind the scenes videos when I'm doing shoots with other people and when I have like my sister or someone assisting holding the camera and filming for me because I think that would be really cool for you guys too and really fun for me to make which is always a plus things that I enjoy making and that you enjoy watching even though I'm cold I don't want to go back inside it's just so peaceful and beautiful I love being out here I love this forest and I love nature and I love snow <laughs> it's just so amazing do you remember how or if you live in a place where it snows at least for me when you're a kid you just go out and play in the snow for hours and hours and like for me I used to just go in the snow and I would lay in it and I would just <laughs> pretty much sleep there for hours like I would just lay in the snow all day long and I would be outside for like six hours playing in the snow and now I'm out here for <laughs> an hour if that and I'm frozen like what is up with that I want to stay out here and just lay in the snow all day that would be so peaceful oh <laughs> I just got splattered in the face look at it all oh it's so beautiful snow makes me so happy I just oh, I love it so much I'm so happy it snowed today so happy I'm gonna go back and edit these photos maybe today who knows but you'll see them whenever this vlog is up so I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if there are any other kind of photography videos you guys want to see from me um, I really want to do some more editing in Photoshop to show you guys some speed edits and also some normal speed ones but yeah if you have any other questions let me know and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.